Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create multiple selection drop-down menus in Excel. Excel's data validation function typically allows you to select only one value from the list, but we're going to be changing that in our video here today. So I have a list of employees and I want to be assigning these employees specific projects. But for each project, I want to create a drop-down list, which allows me to select from the list of these employees, which employee I want to assign to the project. But for each project, I want to assign multiple employees. Essentially, I want to be able to select multiple people from my drop-down menu. To get started, we will start with data validation. So into data and into data validation, and then we'll select list and then as you can see, there's three cells where I want to insert data validation, D2, D3, and D4. But for the purpose of this example, I'll just show you this one over here, cell D2. Um, the list is selected. Now the source of the list is going to be the employee names over here. Okay, so we're going to select the employee names. And in my previous video, I've also showed you how to dynamically select from a drop down menu. So whenever your source data changes, your data validation range changes as well. So feel free to check that out as well. You can implement that if your list of employees or uh, your specific list is gonna be changing throughout. And we'll click on okay once that's done. And as you can see, data validation is working. So now we can select an employee. Um, but as you can see, if we select another employee, then the previous one goes away. So we can't select multiple people yet, but we're going to change that by going into Alt plus F11, which is going to open up our visual basic editor. And of course you can just go onto the developer tab and open it from here as well. And once we've reached here, there's a specific code I'll be using and it's courtesy from another YouTube channel, which I'll be mentioning in the comments. I'm going to paste that code and I'll paste it in the comments as well. And essentially there are a couple things that we want to be changing. Uh, first of all, there's a specific cell that we want to change. So as you can see, our target cell is cell D2. This is the cell which has the data validation and this is the cell um, which we want to be having multiple selections in. So I'm gonna go into target cell right over here and I'm gonna select D2, okay. And then if there are multiple cells, then we can add or target address equals to other or other. Um, but in my case, as I said, for this example, I'll just show you one cell. So I'm going to remove this part and go straight to the next part. And that's the only thing you need to change is the target cell. Um, once you've done that, we're going to click on X. And it's always a good idea to go into data and refresh once as well. Now we can be able to select multiple people from our list. And as you can see, the data validation adapts to this as well. Now, one thing to note is that you have to save this file as an XLSM, which is an Excel macro enabled workbook. I hope you found this helpful. It was a very short video. Please do consider subscribing and I'll see you shortly on the next video.